Four men were killed tonight when a gunman wearing a bulletproof vest opened fire in Philadelphia. Two other men were wounded by the gunfire. This marks the 29th mass killing in the U.S. this year. Three people were killed, several others hurt in a mass shooting in Fort Worth. About 11.40 last night, someone fired into the crowd in the 3400 block of Horn Street. Police tell us 11 people were wounded, including one juvenile. Of the 11 struck by gunfire, three have died. At this point, a motive for the shooting is not known. One person dead and another in critical condition after a shooting in South Sacramento. This is video from the scene at the Bowling Green Apartments near Franklin Boulevard. People don't know what's going on. It's like they're totally panicking down there. Skyfox overhead as suspects from a wild pursuit ran into the crowd in Japanese Village Plaza. There were so many people like just ran into all the stores. And everybody was just in distress. The children were just crying. Everyone thought that they were going to die in that moment. Sheriffs say the pursuit started in Firestone when deputies spotted a Mercedes involved in another pursuit in Gardena earlier in the week. At one point, the driver reversed into a patrol unit. Later, a dangerous high-speed chase, the suspect crashed into a Volkswagen on First Street and Central Avenue. Go! Go! The plaza was shut down for hours as authorities searched, but those suspects got away. Several mass shootings rocked the holiday weekend and celebrations across the country, first in Baltimore, where gunfire leaves two people dead. Surveillance video shows the chaos after a deadly mass shooting in Baltimore. Cups, a popcorn machine, even a shoe left behind. All signs of a celebration that quickly turned into tragedy. Mass shooting tonight. This time, six people shot, four of them are dead. It has been chaos in West Philadelphia tonight. A man wearing a bulletproof vest and armed with at least two firearms opened fire on a group of people. Eight people were hurt. Six of them suffered gunshot wounds. Of them, four people have died. And police say one of the dead is a teenager. A deadly mass shooting on the city's southwest side near the Chicago Lawn and Marquette Park neighborhoods. Now this happened just after eight last night near 63rd and Artesian. Violence start to celebrating the 4th of July. A teenager shot in the ankle. This happened up in Harlem. Police are still investigating, but it's only the latest shooting after a violent weekend in the city. In Wichita, Kansas, another mass shooting, this time at a nightclub. And the music cut off. Always hear is like shots. Police say at least four guns were fired inside of the club, leaving at least nine shot and two people trampled as they tried to escape. Everyone survived, and so far one person is in custody. There have been at least 338 mass shootings nationwide in 2023. This morning, police say they continue to look for the shooter or shooters who shot four people, including a 12-year-old girl last night on East Burn Avenue, just off the Grand Concourse in Mount Hope. Police say the 12-year-old was hit in her shoulder, a 35-year-old woman was shot in her right foot, a 23-year-old man was struck in his right thigh, and a 22-year-old man was shot in the toe. Another day, another neighborhood in the Bronx that has seen a shooting with multiple victims. Chicago police telling us a group of men were outside on a sidewalk when a driver in a black charger pulled up and someone inside it opened fire. Four of the men on the sidewalk were hit by bullets. A 23-year-old man died at a hospital. The three other men who were hurt are all expected to recover. The 4th of July began with more violence inflicted on a child. Police say just before one this morning, a 13-year-old boy was shot in the ankle at 310 West 143rd Street in Harlem. Video from the scene shows crime scene tape inside the lobby of the apartment building there and officers using flashlights to search for evidence outside. The NYPD says the 13-year-old was taken to Lincoln Hospital in stable condition. Police have not made any arrests. Chicago police say one person was killed and two others were hurt in a shooting on the city's south side. Witnesses tell police someone in a silver car opened fire on the group. A man was shot in the head and died later at Christ Hospital. Two others were hurt, are, are expected to survive. So far, police have not said if anyone is in custody. Police say three men were shot on Walton Avenue just outside Joyce Kilmer Park in the concourse section of the Bronx. A witness described what he heard. Boom, 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 like by six. 
rapid succession. Yes. A 24-year-old and 44-year-old were hit in the leg. Another 44-year-old was hit in his buttocks. All these have already made an arrest in the killing of 15-year-old Wesley Vasquez Saturday night in Riverbank State Park in Hamilton Heights. Yesterday, state police announced the arrest of 36-year-old Annabelle Cruz of the Bronx. He is charged with second-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. And we have another triple shooting to tell you about. This one about a half a mile away from where we are. It took place at 440 this morning. Police tell us that three men were shot inside of a building near Claremont Park. Two of the three men, who we are told are 28 and 34, suffered life-threatening injuries. The other man, I'm told, suffered non-life-threatening injuries. So far, police have not yet made any arrests in that shooting. Five people killed in a mass shooting, four adults and a 15-year-old boy. The survivors, two boys, a 13-year-old and two-year-old, both shot in the legs. That toddler's mother and twin brother also injured by shattered glass. The family of three in a car together, mom driving when the shooter randomly opened fire on them. Dominique Evans says his 20-year-old brother, Lashad Merritt, simply walked outside his home last night to go to the store but didn't make it down the street. Just walked up the house. That's homie he was right there and shot him. Philadelphia police say Merritt was one of five people shot and killed when a 40-year-old opened fire near 56th and Chester Streets in King Sessing around 8.30 Monday night in what appears to be a random attack. Investigators say there's currently nothing connecting the shooter to the victims. And police say this video circulating on social media is part of the investigation, showing the suspect turn and open fire. Police believe the first victim, 31-year-old Joseph Wilma Jr., was killed inside a home on South 56th Street. The suspect then began shooting aimlessly uh, at occupied vehicles and individuals on the street as they walked. Police say 12th District officers ran towards the gunfire, caught up with the shooter on the 1600 block of Fraser Street, and took the shooter into custody. It's a national tragedy that we have a mass shooting a day, or more than a mass shooting a day, in America in 2023.